name is John Burns with Siemens, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Simico Pro Motor Management System. The system itself primarily is for overload protection of full voltage uh, motor applications, full voltage starter applications, and it's comprised of several different components. The first is the uh, main base unit, and with this system here, you have some onboard input and output connections so you can connect up your local push buttons for local control as well as your network interface. In this particular model it has a 9-pin D-shell for a Profibus interface. This is the electronics base unit. Along with this we'll typically have some type of measuring module for measuring the motor current for doing your overload protection. As you can see it's a two-piece design. The benefit of that is for all different size motors what changes is the size of your CT not your base unit. So from a replacement part uh, standpoint, you only have to inventory one part number for all different size motors in your plant or facility. As the uh, CTs or the measuring modules change in size, they change in opacity as far as what size motor. CTs will be able to measure up to 63 to 630 amp range, so roughly a 500 horse motor could be protected by this same system. In addition to the Profibus base unit, we've released several different base units to connect to different networks or different functionality. In addition to the Profibus system, we released a Profinet version, which will have a dual switch uh, uh, internal uh, integrated into the system for supporting both ring and line architecture. We also released a slimline version of the Simicode system known as Simicode Pro S, and it's a very slim one inch wide housing now for uh, some cost uh, savings and functional savings with the system. And most recently, we introduced another serial version, but instead of Profibus this time, this system supports the Modbus RTU protocol, and, which is still very well uh, used in the industrial market, wastewater market, and uh, process uh, industries today. And what we'll do is a lot of times we'll retrofit this uh, type of system into that existing Modbus RTU architecture and really upgrade their capability for their local machinery to get better control and better diagnostics and, and very uh, well in increase their uptime or availability of their equipment. In addition to the base unit and the measuring module, we can not only measure, say, current with the system, but with a different series of measuring modules, again, all the way up to uh, the different current ranges up to 63 to 630 amp range, we can now measure both current and voltage at the same time with this system. So if you marry these together, now you can measure power, power factor, uh, kilowatt, kilowatt hours can all be measured by this combined system. In addition to measuring current and voltage, the Pro-V series is also expandable. And so if you wanted to be able to add some additional I.O. capabilities, such as digital or analog or temperature or ground fault capability, you can easily do that by adding in this expansion module. The connection scheme is a very simple ribbon cable uh, structure, not a backplane, but a ribbon cable structure going across for your system. By doing this expansion, what happens now is the Simicode, instead of just protecting your motor, can now more or less protect your process by having very uh, uh, increased visibility into your system, looking at local uh, sensors such as uh, tank levels or temperature levels, vibration levels of the environment around your motor. Simico can now give you early warning signs as to the health of your system. So today it's running at say eight amps and tomorrow it starts running at nine, nine and a half amps. Simico can uh, reflect that as a warning condition, that something has changed dynamically in your uh, application. And it's not only current, we can do that same warning under voltage, uh, temperature, water levels, acceleration, you know, vibration levels, all of that can be uh, designated in the Simicode as warning conditions and then enunciated either locally to the operator or back to a central control room over the network. In addition to these type of expansion modules, Simicode also offers a very unique situation, and that's for machine and process safety. With the addition of this expansion card now, I can safely shut off my full voltage motor up to a SIL3 or PLE uh, level of machine safety shutdown. 
For instance, if you had a motor control center with several buckets and you wanted to safely shut those buckets off at some kind of individual uh, sequence, now, rather than running a lot of redundant I.O. from some safe rated PLC I.O. down to each individual bucket, now with the simple network connection, all of the redundancy in the safe wiring is housed within the bucket itself, wiring directly to these modules. So again, drastically reducing the wiring and the install time for the system, but at the same time, getting a lot of key diagnostic data off the system as to the health of your overall uh, machine. Simicode is a configured product, similar to a PLC or a drive. So there is a, a configuration software associated with Simicode. There's two versions of it. One is called Simicode ES, which has been around for a number of years, and a rather new version called Simicode V13. Um, on the automation platform for Siemens, we recently re uh, released a, a suite of software called V13 or TIA Portal. And the Simicode software is an optional package that will embed itself into that optional suite. So now from a single programming environment, not only can you have one uh, environment for multiple PLCs, multiple drives, multiple HMIs under one uh, configuration file, you can now program and configure these Simicodes within that same architecture. All the same look and feel uh, as you would for a PLC system.